Well, folks, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your tray is level in your machine. You notice the water. That now is a perfectly leveled tray, ready to receive the liquid that's going to be dehydrated. Having a level tray ensures that your liquid will, will dehydrate evenly along the bottom. And as you can see here, I've pre-staged the trays, and I will be pouring in the liquid in cool trays. This will help prevent the sticking of the egg to the bottom of the tray. All right, folks, and the next step in the food preparation to dehydrate the eggs is to take the eggs from the carton and put them in the mixer bowl. We're going to mix them together and then pour them evenly into the trays I showed you earlier. Now, since I'm only able to crack the eggs, I don't never did master the cracking the egg with one hand. I will crack a few eggs and I will show you that in the mixer bowl and I will go back and crack some more and I'll be right back. I had sanitized the bowl, I sanitized the whisk and I sanitized the working surface. I washed my hands now I'm ready to crack the eggs into the bowl. Okay, I'm making sure that I take care in cracking the eggs and making sure there's no shells inside of the bowl. And I've got a few more to go. And all of the eggs are now cracked. I will note that some of these shells were a lot easier to crack than some other shells, but no shells made it into the mixture. Now we'll begin to combine the yolk and the white part, making sure to break them up. So we can evenly coat the tray with the egg mixture. We're not adding anything, no oils, no salts, no peppers. We're just crushing the eggs to get them in the consistency that we would want. Blending them is not necessary, so if you don't have to have a blender, you can use your old wrist action to get this going. Takes just a few moments. Nothing fantastic about this. Without using a blender, you can keep that foaming down to a bare minimum. You don't have to really aerate this guy not really needed and we'll come back and while you're whisking you may find that a few shell a few egg yolks have not been broken so be patient make sure that all the egg shells are broken homogenize the mixture all right folks now that I have the yolks and the white Part of it combined satisfactorily. I'm going to begin to pour it into the trays. I need both hands, so I'll have to stop and show you that in just a few moments. All right, folks, what I've done is taken one of the trays, filled it all the way. It's nice and full, not over full, but just very close, very carefully. I equal out the same amount, leaving me with two more trays. I have another 18, to 18 eggs in the refrigerator. I will crack those as well and put them in the contain in the dryer as well. And there's my second package of eggs. We're going to crack those inside of this container also. All right, folks, we've got all of the last of the other 18 eggs inside <clears throat> of the container. No shells, so we're going to give it another stir. All right, and we have the second batch all nicely combined. So now we're going to pour it into the trays just like we did for the first set. All right, now we have all the trays evenly filled. So it's time now to put the front on it. I'm going to wash your hands all along the way. We've already preset the timer. That's Temperature control. Set it for the max amount of time. 
Seems like it's coming out. And now the only thing left to do is be patient. Let the time dehydrate the food inside the dehydrator. I wouldn't suggest opening the door to take a peek. You can always take a peek just by looking inside it. You'll tell once you see that the color starts to get darker. You'll notice the drying process continues. And uh, we're going to stop this video right here. Go ahead and publish it. And tomorrow when these eggs are ready, we'll come back up and show you how we uh, move them around in the, in the container. And then we uh, grind them and then uh, put them in bags. So stay tuned, folks. Admiral Preparedness here. Get your egg geek on.